Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are going to do an unboxing of Fire in the Lake Insurgency in Vietnam from Mark Herman and Vocal Runky, put out by GMT Games. This is the third printing that just came out early 2023, late 2022. So let's crack this open and see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, so this one is a very popular uh, game in the coin series, obviously, but it's, uh, it's the fourth one in the series, and obviously it's had a third printing, so it's clearly very, very, very popular. It's the it's one of the, the only ones I've actually completed a full game of. Um, I believe the US and their allies won, won that game using the regular bot, so now I'm excited about playing it again with the with the card-driven bot, so um, enough about that. Um, so we start out with the playbook, big playbook, it's like 50 something pages here, 52 pages on GMT's excellent quality matte finished cardstock, or not cardstock, matte uh, paper, thick paper, you know, good quality, full color. Uh, and this contains a tutorial, so you can kind of go through this and, and follow along. Uh, GMT playbooks can be this or they can be your scenario book as as in like some of their other games so you just have to kind of kind of know what they're doing so uh this is a guide for uh playing this game so it goes th goes through a step-by-step -step tutorial of the game uh gives you a guide if you played coin before some differences the faction interactions uh and then using the bot they have examples of play for that too so and then on the back they have a nice card list of all the cards and which uh, factions they uh, benefit and a few full detail here of each card and tips for each card as well so definitely something to uh, to check out as a, as a good reference here again full color a lot of text something you definitely want to sit down and just read and digest and improve your play then we've got the rules of play also a nicely finished smaller book only 28 pages there's your uh, your counter reference guide and then this is your standard here's how to play the game tells you what the uh, wooden blocks are going to be so we, spoiler alert there's wooden blocks in this game here are the rules sequence of play again a good quality quality rule book all the errata from the past two editions should be updated in here as well um, in fact if you read the rules you go through page 12 it's a stop you have all the rules needed for four players or the no non-player option with two or three players. Uh, 1.5, which is recommended for the first time play where you control all the sides to learn all the sides and then makes understanding the original bot easier. Now, I don't know how that applies to the Trung card-driven bot. But then you start on this page 13 with the non-player factions, which would be the solo system. So, cool, 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 cool. So there's a rule book. And then you got, this is the second edition. So the rules are second edition. This is the third printing. So there may not be a lot of errata from the second printing to the third printing. They, they caught it all. So you get, you should have four of these sheet uh, books. Well, let's see what we got here. Here's our Viet Cong second edition guide. And you're going to get four of these. All right. And so this has the actually the, all the factions, the different activities that the factions can take. So you get the Viet Cong, the Republic of Vietnam, the United States, and the North Vietnamese. So these describe in detail the different actions. So if you were playing a four-player game, you have one of these for each player, and they would turn it to the faction that they're playing. Good quality. GMT, you know, solid cardstock quality. Uh, Double-wide uh, letter size cardstock. And then, excuse me, then this is the non-player guide for the bots. You get two of these in case you're playing two players with two bots. Non-player US, non-player NVA, non-player VC, and non-player ARVN. And you get two of those. Reference sheets. And then we've got our random space map. Second edition non-player coup round procedures. Remove place move, random locations, 
uh, special event instructions for special event cards. All 124 tells you how to handle them for the bot. Got that. Got a sequence of play chart. Second edition. When you draw an event card, is the first first fact the first eligible faction can use the second eligible faction and so on and so forth and just guide you kind of guide you through what you need to do and the different spaces and where they are and what they're considered type wise and your force pool to start the game and then we've got two of those so so you have to share those if you're playing four player pass them around all right so this will be reference sheets then we've got our sheet of counters just one nice sheet of counters here pre-rounded so you're just going to punch them out and use them coin control nva control and you got different events that cards put into play that you would you would use to mark on the board that these are these are in play and what they are what their effect is is summarized and top guns in play no migs and the grade two and then trackers and you got some deception markers. These are small half-inch counters. These are not pre-rounded. They're little half-inch markers. You just punch them out. And then you got some overflow markers you can put, and then use the overflow boxes, which I assume are going to be on the map. So there we go. Good quality counters there. We've got the map. We will take a look at it in a second. Down into our little well here, and we've got a couple, three dice. We've got a red, a blue, and a yellow. Who wins? Looks like red ones. Yeah, blue and yellow tied. Take so three six sided dice. Get a big bag of wooden tokens. And you saw on that chart what they all correspond to, so we're not gonna we're not gonna pull those out. And knowing GMT, there's probably extras in here as well for each one, so if you lose them, just keep the extras safe. Then we get the ubiquitous GMT bag of bags right there to help you sort and organize unless you want to use a um, a GMT tray to store your tokens in and keep it in the box. Um, little box insert and then we've got two decks of cards for the events. Take a look at those. They do have years marked on them which I believe is the year uh, if you play different scenarios that start you would eliminate cards based on the year. Um, but then each one has faction you know faction order. Um, that you work through, and uh, um, the white outline means it's the you know it's the active faction. But this is the order you check them in, and as you can see, they're each yeah they're each different. So and then you get the event, and then you got the you know what you can you know you can do if you use it. If you don't use it, you know if you're using it off turn, then you know you, you take a different action. So they're very thick quality cards. And there's 124, I believe. Uh, 130 cards total. No, there are 124 uh, event cards. And then there's also the coup cards that get shuffled in, um, you know, randomly and end phases. So, um, so there's five of them, I guess, to choose from. So we have 130 cards total in the deck. I guess that would mean there's six of these. They're stuck together. Yeah, there's the other one. Okay. So 124 event cards and then six coup cards. So now we'll take a look at the uh, at the board. It's a huge, huge map. It's uh, eight panels. So, uh, you know, uh, takes up a lot of space. One, one thing that's a little frustrating as a solo player is that it goes away from you so if you're playing multiplayer sitting around the board it probably wouldn't be too bad but when i played it before one thing i noticed um and i'll link this in the in the notes it's on the it's on my uh it's on the once upon a game.com website is i made a separate uh off board uh card tracking um uh section so that you could turn the map sideways and make it where everything was a little more reachable for a solo player sitting on the long edge of the board instead of the short edge. So uh, you can print this, mount it onto, onto uh, foam board, cardstock, something like that, uh, laminate it, but then you can just have this cut to size and just sitting off to the side where you need it instead of having to read cards sideways and stuff. So something to look for. But anyway, beautiful, uh, brightly colored uh, uh, board. You got your, your score tracking chart running around the top. 
and the right there. There's this overflow spaces we were talking about earlier. There's B. These are the available forces for the Viet Cong, the North Vietnamese, the United States are tracked there, and then the Arvin troops are here. Um, and you got your lines of communication tracked with you know, their neutral control areas. Not a lot of spaces to deal with, but they're all important. So anyway, this is just kind of a quick look at the board. Let's see if we can get a wide shot here. Get a little bit wider here. Okay. So yeah, you can see how like I'm standing at the edge of the table and I can just barely reach to there. So turning it sideways just makes a lot more sense for a single player. So, cause I can't ask somebody else to move my troops for me. So, all right. So if you pick up a copy of Fire in the Lake, the third printing of the second edition, you're going to get the uh, 130 cards, event and coup cards that are going to go into your deck. You're going to get the bag of baggies. You're going to get a nice big bag of wooden playing pieces. Three dice. You're going to get that game board that we just took a look at. You're going to get one sheet of pre semi, you know, mostly pre rounded counters. A few that you got to punch a clip. You're going to get two sequence of play reference cards. You're going to get one uh, random spaces, uh, special event instructions reference card. You're going to get two copies of the non-player flowchart bot, uh, bot cards. And then four copies of the faction uh, operations activities card uh, definitions. Which contains, there's one each that contains all four. Excuse me, there are four each that contain all four. So each one is identical to the other. You're going to get the 28-page uh, rulebook. The 52 page playbook with examples of play all in the nice big deep dish Chicago style game box and that is everything in Fire in the Lake Insurgency in Vietnam by Mark Herman and Boko Runke. Oh.